In a previous video, I showed how useful is code QL analysis to spot security problem in your code, but I didn't show how you can set up for the first time in your repository. And it is very simple. This is a sample repository with some C sharp code. You can simply go to the security tab, code scanning alerts, and then you are presented with various options with various um, tools for do to, for security scanning. And the first one you got present this code QL analysis by GitHub. You can simply click on set up this workflow and you will be presented with a nice GitHub action. You can simply configure for your need. You can, as an example, leave the default. I can remove the schedule. Um, I can simply leave uh, build on develop, both on push on branches or on pull request. And I can leave the rest of the code assist because usually GitHub is really good in understanding which language my repository is based on in this situation, C Sharp. And I do not need to change anything because we can try the auto build action that automatically try to understand based on language, C Sharp in this situation, Based on language, this step try to understand how to compile the project. So you can leave the code as is and you can start committing. I'd like to create a new branch because I don't know if the auto build is okay. So I create a new branch like code QL and I can click propose new file. So this actually create a pull request and I can just push create pull request to actually create the request. And once the request is created, the action immediately was triggered because as you remember, I left the trigger on develop, both on direct push on develop and on pull request. So I only need to wait my job to complete and verify if the auto build is okay. The only thing you usually need to change is the auto build if your code needs some sort of custom build action because you need some sort of prerequisite or something that is not a standard .NET build. But if you have a standard .NET code, usually the auto build is capable of doing everything by itself. Okay, in this situation, I'd like to show you what happened when the build failed. In this situation, the auto build failed and I need to check the log and understand why the build failed. And the reason is really simple. Actually, this solution was created with .NET Framework version core 6.0. So the .NET Core 6 is probably not contained in the standard build agent, so I need to modify the build to make it compatible with .NET 6. All you need to do is go to the code tab, choose the code QL branch, and you can directly edit the workflow that was created for you. In this situation, as, you, as I told you before, the workflow is actually uh, really simple and it uses an auto build action to automatically build your source code. And in my situation, the problem is it does not find .NET Core 6.0. So I can modify the action to have it installed before the auto build action. As you can see, I simply inserted a step named setup.NET using the action setup.NET version one, the, the V1 is only the version of the step of the action. And I'm asking to install the .NET version 6.0.x, so the latest version of 6.0. And then I leave the auto build as is because I still trying to have the project built by the auto build without needed to, to do some further modification. So you can simply start commit and I can commit directly to the code QL branch and I commit change and let's see if this will solve my problem in action execution. Okay, the build is now okay. And once the build run, you can return to the security tab, the code scanning alert, and now you see the wizard is 
disappeared because you have actually a first analysis. The code is really simple. I have no alert and I have a very, very limited project is maybe 400 lines of code, but you are, um, conf- you, you can have the confirmation that the code QL action is running. Okay. It's run 29 seconds ago. It is uh, run on a pull request and the workflow is called code QL. As you can see, using a different branch to create the action workflow and using a pull request gives you the incredible advantage of testing your new workflow and at the same time having it to run to verify that it's okay. As you can see in the action tab, I can verify that my code QL run two times. The first time it does not complete correctly, so we need to make a fix now the the workflow is okay, so I can close my pull request. Going on the pull request tab, I can verify that indeed I have only my my, my only request with a couple of commit and one file change it, my code QL analysis um, workflow. So it is everything is okay, all check have passed and I can show the check and the check it's indeed the execution of my new code QL action and I can merge the pull request. I usually rebase and merge and okay, I can confirm. Now that I confirmed my pull request, everything is merged back on develop. So if I click action, I can indeed verify that a new run of the action was scheduled. So now I can simply wait for this new analysis to complete and then check in the security tab the result. Once the new action finished running, I can check again my code scanning alert section and I indeed can verify that the latest scan is just finished on the branch develop and the workflow is called called QL. So the first run report that the latest run was for a pull request and now the latest run is on the branch develop. I have no alerts and from now on, every pull request that wanna close some code on develop will trigger this code QL workflow, and I can immediately verify if the new code is generating security alert before closing the pull request on develop.